Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use Canva video editing and add watermark to video. So we're going to get started. All right, we're going to go to our homepage in Canva. And depending on what uh, kind of video you're trying to create, you can click on custom size and input your specific dimensions over here. You can also go to create a design and search for the type of thing that you're trying to create, say for example, um, a YouTube video or something like that. And then just click on the option that you'd like to uh, create. I'm going to go with YouTube video for today. So it's going to take a bit of time for the editing page to load up and yeah, here it is. We're going to go to the side panel in case we're going to use a template. So you can just freely scroll down or you could search for something specific over here to save some time. All right, in our case, we're not going to be needing those templates, so we're going to close that and we're going to start editing. You may notice that we have this timeline over here. So yeah. Um, this is the um, page that we're going to work on first. Um, in order to add your videos to your page, or of course you're going to have to use your own videos, so you're going to go to the upload section and choose your videos from the videos category. Uh, you can click on a specific video you want to put here, but if you haven't um, uploaded your video files to Canva yet, then we're first going to have to upload them first. We're going to click on Upload Files, and then we're going to select the uh, videos that we would like to um, upload to Canva. So you can actually choose multiple videos and upload them at the same time. Just click on one and then press control on your keyboard and then choose another one and so on and so forth. And once you're done, click on open so that they'll be uploaded to Canva. So um, in order to add them to your page, you can either click on them or you can drag them to your page, just like that. I'm going to delete that. In case you chose to click on it, in order to add it as your background, you can click on this button and then set video as background. And there you go. In case you'd like to add filters to your video, go to, oh, make sure to click on it first and then go to edit video on the toolbar above, right over here. If we click on see all, you'll find other filters that you can choose from. I'm not going to be applying filters to my video and that is because um, if I do that, my PC is not the, the fastest PC unfortunately. And if I do that, my PC will lag and my screen recorder will also lag, which will affect the uh, tutorial video. So I'm not going to be doing that today. In case you have a green screen, you can also remove the uh, green screen background or any other background you want to remove by clicking on background remover. It's a new useful tool that Canva has uh, provided for us to use. Um, once again, this does require a lot of power from your PC. So when you use this, you're, if you're using a, a bit of a laggy or slow PC, you're going to notice that. Uh, the editor will lag or will be slow. And apart from these, you can also manually tweak your video's colors over here on the adjust section. So here you'll be able to edit your photos, white balance, light, color, as well as texture. And if you want to, you can also trim your video. So you can do that by going here. Click on this and this a new toolbar will appear. So to trim your video, you can drag the slider just like that, or you can input specific values over here, say for example, three seconds. And if you move this around, everything that's inside these sliders will be included in your video, while the rest that were not included 
uh, will not be included. They'll be completely cut off. So just place this to the specific um, part of the video clip you'd like to include. And then once you're done, click on done. And in case you'd also like to, uh, you can mute your video by clicking this button. You can adjust the volume, make it um, like that, and then you can also mute it overall by clicking on this button. All right, in case you want to add some text to your videos, you can do so. Just hit T on your keyboard and a text box will automatically appear. If you'd like to look for some text templates that you can use, go to um, text on the sidebar. Scroll down and you'll find lots of text templates for you to choose from. As for me, I'm not going to be needing that, so I'm just going to simply add a text box here and type in the word flowers, for example. And then I'm going to make it bigger. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned to the middle and change its font over here. I'd like to search for a specific style, so Canva has a lot of preset styles. However, I'd like to choose handwriting and choose from what I can find here. So feel free to choose whatever fonts you'd like to use. I'd like to change this to cursive. Okay, this, seems, this one seems nice, so I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to change its color by clicking this button over here. And I'm going to... It's not working, so in order to fix that, you can highlight your text or press Ctrl plus A and then change the color just like that. And in case you'd like to add effects, click on effects and select a specific effect you'd like to apply to your text. You can also curve it if you want to and adjust its curve by dragging the slider. I don't want it to be curved so I'm going to remove that and just use lift I think. And I'm going to add an animation to it as well. I'm going to click on animate and then choose a specific animation. I think fade is okay. It's simple and it matches the uh, calm theme of our video right over here. And now if you want to add some elements, go to the elements section and then choose whatever elements you'd like to put in your video. As for me, I don't think I really need... Let me just zoom this in to see if it's going to look good. Yeah, I think it's nice. I'm going to keep it that way. And then I am going to add a watermark to our video now. If you have a watermark already prepared, then upload it to Canva just the same way as we did earlier. And you are going to be able to find them under the uh, images category. And I'm just going to pretend that this is the uh, watermark that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put it somewhere uh, where I want to put it. <laughs> and then you can adjust your transparency. So to do that, go to this button over here. You can adjust the slider or input specific values here. So maybe 45 would be okay. Maybe make it bigger by being 65. Okay, that should be all right. If you haven't created your watermark yet, then we've created a video for, um, about that. So feel free to check it out. And now it's time for us to go to um, the next page. So in order to add another page, click on this Add Page button. And now we have a new page. So we're going to insert our other video over here. So we're going to right click set video as background, 
double click and adjust the placement but i think it's already okay and then we're going to trim the video to about five seconds probably would be okay and then click on done and yeah for the playback um okay we actually have this option to um adjust the speed to loop our video or to autoplay it in presentation but i think these are only available in presentation haven't tried them yet but yeah feel free to play around it and as for the video speed i'd like to keep the yeah, normal speed and then let's see we're going to hover over here and here we can see two buttons this one is um, used to add a new page in between these two and this one the second button is the uh, transitions button so if we click on it we'll be able to see some transitions that we can use over here so let's see what works best we have dissolve we have slide we have circle wipe color wipe line wipe match and move flow stack and chop maybe match and move we're gonna try it out and in order to add a an audio file to your video we're gonna go to the upload section again and go to audio and if you haven't uploaded your audio yet click on upload files and select the uh, specific song or music you'd like to upload and use for your design okay so now we're going to add it by dragging that file onto our design and it's been added as you can see right over here um, below the video clips so yeah by the way the uh, duration of your audio file also depends on the duration of your video so far so if you want to edit your audio just click on this button and you'll have the option to adjust or trim your audio file i'm not sure if you can trim it though uh, adjust yeah duration of your audio file depends on the duration of your video so far so the only thing you can do is to adjust um, and put the uh, part you want to include inside these boxes or inside the this box i mean the um everything that's outside of it will not be included so yeah i'm gonna click here so that we're gonna be able to do that again we have volume oh no audio effects first so for audio effects they have fade in and fade out we're gonna try again for the volume of course you can use this to adjust the volume of your audio file split audio in case you'd like to split your audio <laughs> yeah duplicate track in case you'd like to duplicate your track and delete track in case you'd like to delete a specific track and okay we're gonna try to see how it works but first i guess i should adjust the volume oh, okay it looks like i've already done that so we're gonna try to play it by clicking this button over here just going to go back to the first page and click this button and there you go and yeah we're also going to not forget about our dear watermark so we're gonna go back to the first page and we're gonna click on our watermark and hit Control plus c on our keyboard go back to the next page and uh, press Control plus v to paste it and it's going to be in the exact same location as the first page and there you go let's try it again i'm gonna try it again there okay and once you're happy with your 
video, you can finally go ahead and download it. So go to share, click on download, and since you're creating a video, um, it's best to keep it uh, in the MP4 video format. And then um, apart from that, especially if you're a Canva Pro user, then you'll have the option to adjust your quality as well as uh, download pages as separate files. But I don't think we're going to use that today. So yep, once everything's all set, click on download and it'll be downloaded from Canva to your PC. And that's it. That's how you can use a Canva to edit videos and add a watermark to that video. So we hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.